About 15,000 people are believed to have been tortured at the main Khmer Rouge prison in Phnom Penh. Fewer than 10 prisoners survived. At the United Nations-backed trial on Tuesday, the man who ran the S-21 prison took responsibility for the torture and executions committed there. Former Khmer Rouge official Kang Kiek Yu is also known as Doik. <laughs> May I be permitted to apologize to the survivors of the regime and also to the families of the victims whose loved ones died so brutally at S-21. Doik is charged with crimes against humanity, war crimes, torture and murder. International prosecutor Robert Petit described the torture that took place under Doik's command. The victims were brought to pits dug beforehand. There, they were killed by a blow to the base of the neck using steel clubs. Their bodies would be kicked into the holes, their handcuffs taken off their lifeless hands, their bellies sliced open, and the pits covered by dirt. Doik is the first Khmer Rouge official to stand trial for the mass killings of three decades ago. An estimated 1.7 million Cambodians died from overwork, starvation, or execution under the Khmer Rouge's rule in the 1970s. Nick Dunlop is a freelance journalist who discovered Doik living incognito in 1999. In an interview with VOA, Dunlop says Doik expressed regret for his crimes. And he says something like, I have great difficulty in my life now thinking that, that, that none of the people who were killed were, were guilty of the crimes, that they were all innocent. But Dunlop says it is difficult to measure Doik's sincerity. Particularly when they have the backdrop of at least 12,000, perhaps 20, perhaps even 40,000 deaths. Um, you know, in the background that they ultimately were responsible for. Doik is the only one among five former Khmer Rouge leaders on trial who has admitted guilt. His trial is expected to last about 12 weeks. Leita Hong Fincher, VOA News.